Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome to my SnowRunner truck reviews, or mod truck reviews in this case. So, this video, what I wanted to do was take a look at the Tesla Cybertruck. Going into the truck store, first thing that I want to gig it for, and this is a negative for me, as you can see, I've got other mod trucks installed, and they all have the custom thumbnails in here. And this one does not. This is the uh, default showing what appears to be a Chevy Tahoe, which we also don't have in the game. But, anyway, let's go ahead and purchase and deploy. Now, looking at the model itself, it does look pretty nice. I will give it that. The tires look good. Those are custom tires. However, this is not a human piloted vehicle. This is... Um, the model of what appears to be a DARPA research project, project that um, would be for a robotic driven vehicle. So why do we have that variation of it here as a truck in game if we're going to be driving it ourselves and it's not automatic or a robot? So I don't get that part of it. Alright, next thing, when we go into our truck storage, if we look, it does not have a proper thumbnail here either. So, also a negative. Being that the price is $54, it's kind of a weird number, but okay, it's cheap, it's easy to get into. So, go into Customize. No other engine options. No other gearbox options. We do have a raised suspension. Okay, not a problem. $9, I can swing that. Then we move to the tires. Okay, you got a few different options for tires, but they're labeled as 79 inches. Um, really? That's not a 79 inch uh, tire. I could be wrong, but no, that's not 79 inches. So that's gonna be another negative mark for me. Highway tires modded as excellent across the board. Pitbull Rockers, same thing. They're listed as all-terrain. Super Swamper and Trepidors, Bogger TSLs. Um, interesting choice for names for the tires. Um, and, you know, real tires. But I'm um, just not sure because, you know, it, that 79-inch thing is what's really throwing me off here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw on the Trepidors. I guess it doesn't really matter. It's kind of a personal choice here. So I'll just run the Super Swampers. Winch, only one choice. The Autonomous Scout. If you're only going to have one choice, that's a good one to have. Going into the Visuals category, mm, you only have one choice for rims. Nothing for paint jobs. So, uh, would have been nice to have something besides Desert Camo. Um, considering we're not driving in any deserts. We're driving in either um, wooded mud or snow. Um, so the camouflage is kind of inappropriate for the maps for the game. Another negative. Now, um, that being said, let's make sure it's daytime because this game sorely needs a time of day lock. So what I'm going to do is another negative, which I'll show you here in a moment, it cannot pull a trailer. So the normal trailer test for the container run will not be something that I'm going to be able to do. So what I will do is drive it down this road right here so we can have good clean roads with a little bit of a curve so we can get some idea of speed and control. We'll come down over here. We're going to take the high road because there is some off camber stuff and a few things here and there. And we're just going to make the trip coming down here and heading as close as we can to the tunnel going to Island Lake. I will not use any winching at all unless 100% absolutely necessary. So <clears throat> let's go ahead and give that a try. So looking at the vehicle from the outside, it's kind of a graffiti font for... Cybertruck written on the back. I don't think Elon Musk would do that, but okay. 
Um, anybody who has seen the promo video for the Cybertruck will kind of get why it says ball proof on the window covers, but all glass has been covered by metal plating, which would make it really difficult to drive um, if you're a human. Um, Again, not a fan of the camo because, well, it's inappropriate for the map that we're on. Um, all of the taillights are covered. I'm not exactly sure what that's supposed to be there, but, um, yeah. Okay. So, let's give it a drive. First off, since it is an electric vehicle, there is no engine sounds whatsoever. Not even like an electrical whine or motor whine or anything of that nature. So I, I know that, and yeah, I know it's a cyber truck, but it just seems a little bit odd whenever you're, you're driving to not have any kind of engine sounds. But I'll let that slide because it is technically, you know, an electric vehicle, so we can actually hear the the road noise. Tires kind of break loose there a little bit on the road at high speed. A little bouncy, but okay. Good speed, and you know, it, it handles decent. So far, I've put out a lot of negatives on this, and I mean, beauty is in the eye of the beholder here, but for me, there's just so many negatives that lead up to the fact that. Um, is it really worth hitting that subscribe button and getting it? It's full-time four-wheel drive, and diff lock is always on, so you don't need to worry about flipping switches for that. Its drivability is good. I hit the number one key to change views, and apparently that's a backup camera view. Hit number one again, and nothing. It goes back to normal. And... It's a backup camera. Why do we need a camera facing backwards? Um, I guess if we want to back up to a trailer? <laughs> Which we can't pull anyway. So with so many negatives being called out, what are the positives? Well, it appears to have gotten through that mud hole pretty good. It drives okay. And, you know, I am playing with keyboard and mouse and on PC. There's no snorkel, so the, the water crossings are going to be problematic at best. It seems a little lethargic, so when you are feathering the throttle back and forth, it just seems to want to um, not respond as quickly as, as you would think. And I'm pretty sure the real Cybertruck is going to be a lot more responsive than that. So it's kind of an unrealistic sensation of driving. So it's handling everything pretty good except for water. It, like I said, it will not like the water just because there is no snorkel system. So it actually makes this trip pretty quickly. I've already um, done some preliminary testing on it and driven across varied terrains. Um, it's okay for going through heavy rocky stuff, but that will happen, the damage, and it has no repairs or roof rack or anything associated with it, so once you break, you're broken. Fuel usage. It's an electric vehicle, why does it still have fuel? Well, technically it would have a battery charge, but understandable, this is, you know, something we just have to overcome. And no, I'm not going to cut across. This is, you know, a hardcore test to see, since most trucks can make it across here with no problem, to see exactly what's going on. Um, the lighting, showing that there's lights there in the bottom left there and right. Kind of weird positioning of the actual glow from the lights. So we've taken a pretty fair amount of damage just getting this far. But I have made it pretty good. I would say 
if you're looking for a scout only mod truck that is only good for going out and exploring then this would be a pretty good truck to get um, will I keep this in my library of mod trucks probably not um, that's simply because a I don't like the camouflage and the fact that there's no paint jobs for it B it's a DARPA project and not an actual manned drivable vehicle so we can't see our driver um, the tires being labeled wrong will trigger my OCD quite a bit. Um, the fact that it can't pull a trailer is a big downfall as well. It doesn't have any roof racks or any other things to carry repair points with. So once you're broken, you're broken. Um, to me, a scout vehicle needs to have some ability to refuel and ability to repair itself so that it can get out and drive for long periods of time so that um, you can actually get out and scout with it. Uh, an important feature to me also is the trailer hitch. Since it cannot even pull a scout trailer, um, I would like to be able to pull the radar trailer and go out and scan locations, things like that. Um, and since it can't do that, that's another negative for me. It's not that I want to haul cargo with it, but it would be nice if I chose to. So this one's going to get a... It's nice, but it's going to go away. And I guarantee you this is going to kill it. It won't make it through the, the hole. Engine stalled. And it's dying. And dead. So, even though it does look nice, it drives okay. For me, it's going to be a fail. But... Again, your mileage may vary. You may want to have a truck that you can just go out and scout with and have fun with. And it's not bad in that respect. It's just too many negatives for me. So I'm going to go ahead and just save fail. It could even make it across the map on a prescribed path that I use for testing. And this is my secondary test because it can't pull a trailer. It can't do my primary truck test. So... I do want to thank everybody for watching, and if you have any suggestions for mod truck reviews, let me know in my Discord channel, and the link is in the description. And feel free to come by and watch my Twitch streams as well. I do a lot of streaming on Twitch for uh, SnowRunner. But for sure, let me know what trucks you want to see, and I will try to schedule them as part of the list. Alright, guys and gals, thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.